Hey y'all, it's your girl J9Eve. If you are familiar with a rapper named Young Thug, congratulations, I wasn't, okay? <laughs> Part of the younger crowd, you know what I'm saying? Mama was born in the late 70s, you know what I'm saying? 80s music is my kind of music, okay? Before we get in, make sure you like and subscribe, okay? Hit the notification bell button, please, and thank you. That's the secret of the Nile. And if you wanna tip the talker, use this here barcode up here, okay? It's just there for your convenience, you know what I'm saying? and then say hi to my little chibi mm. oh ain't she cute ain't she cute <laughs> that's mama in a chibi okay so young thug okay is a rapper one of these little young whippersnappers okay in the 80s growing up with the 80s music going into the 90s you know all this there's always been these musicians who got basically blamed for whatever the kids were doing at the time okay marilyn manson okay i remember marilyn manson y'all remember he used to wear that suit that scary horror looking suit thing i'll put a picture up here for you okay <laughs> He got blamed, you know, for doing all kinds of stuff. He was blamed for, you know, the kids was doing crazy stuff because the kids always doing crazy stuff, okay? Every generation got crazy kids. That's that's how it works, okay? If you want to go back even farther, Elvis. Elvis, you know, had girls swinging their hips. You know what I'm saying? You got the little white girls swinging their hips. You're going to have a problem with their father, okay? <laughs> and so, even back then, there's always, there's always been the case. The lyrics, the, the music positions they get blamed for the stuff now fast forward <laughs> we talking about this here young thug okay this guy <laughs> Now he's getting blamed, you know, being held responsible, if you will. Okay, got some Rico charges, baby. Okay, it's the not the Rico, but the Rico. Okay, and he's facing some significant time in the prison system. Okay, because of the words <laughs> in his song. But you know, it's like they're words, Your Honor. They're, you can't blame me, but it's just words. It's just entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Denzel Washington played a drug dealer, but he wasn't. <laughs> You know, <laughs> King Kong ain't got nothing on me, remember? <laughs> but there he is in his mansion with his wife, okay? Just chilling, not in prison. So he's not being blamed for that. But here we go. We got young thugs sitting up here in this place, sitting up in his room or cot, you know? <laughs> and it's because of its lyrics, or is it? Or is it? Because in actuality, it's not. It's because your lyrics matched up with actual freaking crimes it's the self snitching it's what it is <laughs> these people these young people nobody taught them the code okay you don't know the code the code is shut up that's the code okay <laughs> that's the code very easy shut up okay you don't tell on yourself and men make money on it so then there's taxes involved <laughs> the feds are listening okay there's big money and taxes involved the feds is listening okay so we live in a time okay of course where people there's no self there's no snitching which is so crazy actually just think about this i've always complained about this there's this policy of no snitching and we'll say in the hood okay <laughs> In the hood, there's codes of no snitch. So everybody's always living next to the serial killer, basically, is what's happening, okay? Which is okay, whatever. That's what you want. You want to never be living a peaceful place. Okay, fine. Don't tell on the guy who, you know, murked your children. I, that's fine. Hey, that's what you want to do. <laughs> that's what you want to do. Who's going to tell you how to run your neighborhood? Not me. Not me. But here is Young Zuck about to face these here years and time because of what is called Self snitching what is making these young people tell on themselves in their songs and in their music a ask yourself this what is causing these kids <laughs> i'm gonna call them kids because i'm 45 <laughs> these children are telling on themselves in their songs like they go out they go in a place they ain't got no business they do some stuff they got no business and then they go you know what we need to get some work done let's go to the studio next thing you know they in the studio it's making a song and recording it <laughs> explaining exactly what crime they just committed 45 minutes ago this is what they're doing okay this is what it is this is not the same thing as Marilyn Manson this ain't the same thing as those old hard heavy metal songs that they used to say that if you play them backwards it sounds like the devil you know this ain't that <laughs> that was urban legend stuff okay this right here is just plain outright self snitching you're not explaining like rap songs like like back in the day they used to talk about the things that happened in the hood generally <laughs> 
generally the things that they may have possibly been involved in or or saw witness if you will okay but you saying me and my homeboy sue uh, uh, uh stanley was over at the house on 35th street and then the you know you're doing the most honey you are not create you know what this is a sign of this is a sign of you not being creative enough to create a story generally using the ideas and concepts of what you've done <laughs> you could do that you know you could use the general ideas of basic information from kind of sort of what happened you could place it in a whole nother place okay change up the things that happened a little bit so it's not so matchy matchy and tell your story but no you gotta name names you gotta say the date <laughs> it was at mardi gras you know like <laughs> come on man last year at mardi gras like come on come on come on you doing too much they tell on themselves constantly and now we're gonna get to see something in real time okay of the consequence of that which you know if people can learn which I hope they can, this will make other people, well, honestly, if they're doing it, and I mean, it's probably a good thing that they're self-snitching, if I'm just being honest. <laughs> If I'm just being honest, I mean, clearly the people in the neighborhood aren't going to tell on them because they have this no snitching clause <laughs> that's only benefiting the killer. Like, just so you know, like the no snitching clause only benefits the killer. I don't know if y'all know this. There's a no snitching clause that only benefits the killer. <laughs> It only does. So maybe it's just cosmic karma that they're just unable to control themselves but to snitch on themselves. So you know what? I'm not going to complain. It may be for the best. And when I say maybe, I mean is. <laughs> Young thug. I mean, you know, you. I don't know if you came from the hood or not because a lot of these people didn't. A lot of these young kids that are in the rap stuff now are not from the hood. They're not hood dudes. They're not hood dudes, okay? They they just wanted to be for some reason. <laughs> they wanted to be poor children or, or something. They envy the, 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 the kids that didn't have no cereal, you know? <laughs> I wish I had a hard life too. It was not a hard knock life for me. It was not a hard knock life for me you know like it's and so they pretend they go in and they pretend i don't know if that's his story or not but i do know this self snitching might be the cure might be the antidote if you will to this no snitch clause we got going on <laughs> that like i always say we inherited from the police okay this is something we inherited from the police okay this, that's what we, we, they, we they, they gave that to us they gave it to us they didn't give it to them to the people in the in the suburbs because they they sit out the window stare and take notes and call and report things that ain't even happened yet <laughs> they do psychic it's about to happen reportings to the police okay they tell because they think something might be coming we just saw it happen and ain't say, and, and and refuse to say nothing even when they come straight to us we ain't gotta go and deliver the message they come knocking on your door and you say nothing and now you got a killer living next door now you got your grandkids over and they can't go play outside no ain't that fun <laughs> i'm just saying i just saw this i was just like i'm just you know it's something come on do better do better basically basically do better okay y'all behave because i ain't gonna do it absolutely not i just can't i tried once i told you just not for me okay but mama do love you yes she do indeed she do don't you doubt it peace